click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends after the understanding of the radiation of intensity now let us try and find out a law which is corresponding to the same that is the lambert's cosine law guys what we have we have seen previously what is intensity of radiation intensity of radiation itself is nothing but the rate of change of energy per unit solid angle now this intensity of radiation may not be same in entire case most of the bodies falls under the diffuse category means once the radiation comes onto the body or the surface the energy will get diffused in all the direction but the intensity by which the energy will get diffused from the surface that may not be same in all the direction but it is assumed that it is maximum for the direction normal to the given surface that is for this surface over here so that is what this lambert's cosine law talks about so basically it talks about the intensity of radiation what is it saying is that the intensity of radiation in any direction is proportional to the cosine of angle made by that direction with the normal it is known as the lambert cosine law now if i want to express the same english in the mathematics then we need to understand this diagram again let us assume that the radiations are coming out from this point let's say point o in all the hemispherical direction let's say then this in indicates the intensity of radiation in the normal direction so this is a so this is nothing but the direction normal to the given surface so in is nothing but the intensity of radiation that is normal to the given surface and then i can be any other radiation so let us say i is the radiation which is having angle beta to the normal radiation if this is the case then i itself can be given as in into cos of beta now this is what is simple lambert's cosine law so let us try and use this lambert cosine law to prove something now for this we will have to make a hemisphere out of this shape now again consider a small elemental area da over here and the radiation is throwing in all the hemispherical direction so in that case let us consider a small hemispherical ring now the thickness of the ring is let's say dr then the radius of the ring is let's say small r and the actual radius of hemisphere is let's say capital r now these are the nomenclatures we are talking about now let us consider a small section of this ring let's say this is the section that we are considering and it is making some angle d beta and this angle is beta now this is angle nothing but it's an angle of the small ring that we are considering this we have considered as beta now with this nomenclature and with this geometry we can make out something that is the r itself the small r itself can be given as capital r into sin beta see you can make it from this triangle so this triangle will simply give me that this value is capital r this is the radius and then small r itself can be given as sin theta into or the small r itself can be given as capital r into sin of beta similarly one more thing that we can deduce from this geometry is that the dr that is this small curve or r itself can be given as r into d beta see here this is my r and the angle subtended between these two radius is d beta now knowing this thing let us try and find out the actual area of this ring so area of the small ring that we consider this can be given as the 2 pi r which is nothing but the circumference into the dr now try and understand when you are looking from the upward you can only see this small part and now this small part for the given circle is nothing but the circumference of 2 pi r into the thickness that is dr now this dr thickness is when we are seeing from the top view now let us substitute the value of r and dr so it can be written as so let us consider this as da 
Now this is 2 pi into the R can be written as capital R into sin beta. We have seen this in the previous slide and dr itself can be written as r into d beta. Now again if I rearrange the terms I can write this as 2 pi r square sin beta into d beta. Now this is your da. Now do you know what is the value of d omega? Now this is d omega nothing but the solid angle for a given elemental area da. This can be given as da upon r square which I can simply write as 2 pi now this r square get cancel out sin beta into d beta. So this is my value of d omega and we know that the intensity of radiation i is given as d e upon d omega. So from this so this is by the definition of the intensity of radiation itself from this I can say that this E is nothing but I into d omega with the integration. Now the limits will be decided later but by the cosine Lambert's cosine rule I can write down the value of I itself as what? I can be written as I n now I n is a constant value into cos of beta and this d omega can be written as this term over here that is 2 pi sine of beta into 2 beta. Now the integral, the limit will be obviously from 0 to pi by 2. Now this is simply given for the hemispheres. Now let us rearrange the terms and if I rearrange the term what can I have? I can take out the commons outside. So let us take this pi outside i n we are left with 2 sin beta cos beta d beta 0 to pi by 2. Now what is this 2 sin beta into cos beta? The knowledge of trigonometry will tell me that this is nothing but sin of 2 beta. So with this I can write down this as pi into i of n integral 0 to pi by 2 now this can be written as sine of 2 beta into d beta. Now if I further expand the same, this emission itself can be, the emissive power itself can be written as pi into i of n. Now if I integrate the sine 2 beta, it can be written as minus cos 2 beta divided by 2. The limit is 0 to pi by 2. Now let us expand the limits. So this is pi i of n. Let me write minus outside itself. So here if I write down cos of pi by 2 into 2 that is cos of pi it is minus 1 minus cos of 0 that is 1 itself. Now this divide by 2. So at the end of this I can simply write down this e is equal to pi into i of n. Now what is i of n? This can be written as pi into e of p. Now this can be written by the Kirchhoff law. So this is what we have here. Thus we can write down the total MSU power of the diffuse surface over a hemisphere is equal to pi time the intensity so let me circle this also this is also very important equation that is the intensity of radiation in normal direction so I have simply written the same expression which this mathematics talks about that is the total MSC power that is E is nothing but pi times the intensity of radiation in the normal surface to the intensity. So here we have concluded that E itself can be written as pi into I n. In this topic we talked about basically what is Lambert's cosine rule and then we have also derived that 
the emissive power of a given body is nothing but the pi times of that of the intensity of radiation. So, these two small derivations can be found with the help of the knowledge of solid angle and intensity of radiation and the Lambert's cosine rule. Now, that is it in this topic. Thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned with EKDA and subscribe to EKDA. Thank you.